welcome back size 23 here back again with some knife therapy and today i have an exciting one i've been so excited once i heard this was heading my way it's another package coming from jack wolf knives just to be transparent he did send this to me to test and review and i saw pictures of it i haven't watched anybody's videos yet because i want to form my own opinions but the pictures and uh, the little video that he put together man oh man I'm excited about this one just excited about the other one as well we'll show that one in a second same awesome box let's see I don't want to rip the box so let's pop this open and we get this cool tube <laughs> I love these things just look at this yeah so this is the laid back Jack. Oh yeah, there's his information. If you want to contact or uh, know when things are gonna be coming, you can follow him on Instagram. And let's see what our Paul is. So we have, <laughs> that's so cool, little Pog. And the awesome packaging. So let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. Jack has your back. Oh yeah, yes he does. So I'm. I have to admit that um, starting from this bad boy, it has now got me into slip joints, or at least these modern slip joints. This one's. This one feels like a different type of leather. It's, it's like a more supple. Eh, yeah. This one is, uh, it was a little bit more stiff out of the package. This one is a little bit more supple. I like the feeling of this one, but this one's probably going to hold form longer. But this one, it, it's going to mold to the knife. So here's the first one. This is the Sharpshooter Jack. If you didn't check out my review and testing of this, bad boy, definitely go check it out. M390, micarta, titanium uh, bolsters, end cap. Just a beautiful, beautiful design. Super, super slicey. This thing just wowed me. So we'll put this one right here. It comes with a very full size microfiber cloth. It's definitely experience here. No doubt. Oh. <laughs> put that over to the side. Let's kind of move some of this over for now. And we'll bring it back out here in a second. So let's see. Put that over here. So here is the knife. Look at that. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Once again, everything is perfectly flush. No gaps. Seamless. Love the uh, where they took the finish to the micarta. It gives you that texture feeling. Very grippy and stunning. This one's in natural micarta. The other one's in OD Green canvas. Both of them in canvas. I love how I can grab the blade if I want because I'm not a fan of using nail nicks. My, my nails aren't the best. Perfectly centered. Woohoo! Did y'all see that grind? Oh, <laughs> look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That is nice and thin, just like the other one. Let's see if I can show you all that. Look at that. Now, obviously, I mean, and I would I would think this is, you know, common sense for any slip joint. They're made to be slicers. I mean, for the most part, uh, unlike, you know, this one, the Benchmade Proper, not so much the best slicer because it's very thick behind the edge. That's why I never really understood this one. But... This bad boy is nice and thin. I love how they do the sharpening notch. Should clear that plunge. It's gonna be close, but maybe could have came out a little bit more on that, but it, it, it should be all right. Man, oh man. Yeah, this one, this one, I, I've been into Warnies here lately, and this one is just oof, so sexy. It's like that uh, sway back pattern where it kind of kicks up a little bit. But I love the fact that it's not, you know, really abrupt right here. 
because it, it, it doesn't feel strange in the hand like a lot of uh, swaybacks do because they come up so high and it like pokes you in, in the palm. So let's check out the walk and talk. Nice push on there, so nice positive uh, spring. And in the halfway position, everything is flush. Perfectly flush there. Nice snap to it. Nice. This is brand spanking new. Oh yeah. It's got a it's got a, a positive pull to it. I mean it's not overly strong. Let me see compared to This one has a little bit more of a snap on that final close, and I don't know, maybe it's just a blade, or maybe it's just mine, you know, it's not broken in. Nice positive on the open. Nice positive on that halfway. Yep, it's getting better. I think it's just because it's brand new. But nothing I'm gonna complain about because I think I think it's it's great. Uh, any tighter, I find, you know, anything tighter than this, Especially for me, it's almost impossible for me to open. And that's kind of what got me, um, you know, not wanting to carry slip joints so much. But I will say the Sharpshooter Jack has been in my pocket almost every day since I've gotten it. It's been in either this slip or another slip that I showed on a video yesterday. Um, and I've just been thrilled you know, <laughs> the cutting performance is so awesome on these that I find I find reasons to, to have to use it. So I'll definitely be doing uh, the full testing and review of this uh, as soon as I get it done. And if you're interested in seeing that, please uh, stay tuned. Let's see. There's a little spot right there. I don't know. I'm sure it'll come off. Here's the Benchmade proper. So it's about, it's a little bit shorter than the proper. Not by much though. Just by hair. And then a folding knife, the Ontario Wrap Model 2, which is going to be a good bit bigger. So there you go. If you have any questions whatsoever, any comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I'm sure he will be watching this video. If you have any questions for him, I'm sure he will answer it if he can. And I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. And I will see y'all on the next one.